Morning. Today, I've got two tips to help you double your real estate investment income. I know that sounds like a very lofty goal, but let me begin by saying there are very important points that you should include in your planning for real estate investing. The two I'm going to recommend are favorable demographics and a higher than average foreclosure rate in the area. Now, I get asked a lot about, you know, what do I think the real estate market is going to do? And there's kind of a broad question, and it's honestly kind of a useless question because real estate in general can be moving in a certain direction, but real estate is a local market. When you invest money in real estate, you're buying, usually, you're buying a particular property in a particular location. Now, you can also invest in real estate investment trusts uh, or in other funds that pool money and diversify your money across a broad range of areas, a broad range of different uh, locations in real estate. But if you're buying individual properties, there are two tips that I want to leave with you when it comes to the planning in that. The first is demographics. Are people in general moving in the direction of your market? Meaning to say, do you want to buy in a location uh, that has people moving in or moving out? And the answer is you want to buy in a location where people are moving in uh, and there's growth potential. That's number one. Number two is in this era of COVID, obviously COVID isn't gone completely. It's still with us. We're still getting through it. But until those restrictions, COVID restrictions and the forbearance programs are lifted, there's still going to be kind of an artificial propping up of the real estate market as a result of that. So what you also want to look at is what are cities where foreclosure rates are higher than average? So the, you know, the national average, I think, is like one in 12,000 properties is in foreclosure. What locations are they higher? I can think of a couple off the top of my head. Uh, Philadelphia is one, Baltimore's another. Again, I'm not saying you need to go buy property there right now. I'm not endorsing those locations. I'm just saying these are areas, right? Real estate is very local. So look at the local market and determine, hey, what are the foreclosure rates like there? When they re reduce these forbearance programs, is that going to cause property prices to drop? There's a good possibility it could. Uh, and, and what are the demographics doing? Are people moving there? Uh, or are they leaving? Because that's what you want to look. You want to look at an investment property as something uh, in the long term. You want to be building wealth over a long period of time. So keep those in mind. Good, good resources of a site called Realty Track. Uh, that'll give you a lot of information that you want to use to research uh, when you're making a decision as to whether or not to invest in a particular property. Because remember, that's going to, going to be one of the most expensive and important decisions you make. And these are investment properties, different than a property that you actually live in. Please post a question or a comment. Send me a private message if you want to talk about it privately. I always enjoy reading your comments. And until next time, I wish you unlimited success.